Biden on Russia's aerial attacks on Ukraine. Putin must be stopped. Here's a summary of the article. President Biden on Friday issued a scathing statement against Russian President Vladimir Putin after Russia's latest attacks on Ukraine, the largest aerial assault since the war began. It is a stark reminder to the world that, after nearly two years of this devastating war, Putin's objective remains unchanged. He seeks to obliterate Ukraine and subjugate its people. He must be stopped, Biden said. The remarks come after a heavy overnight assault by Russia, and as Congress remains deadlocked over whether to provide further support for Ukraine. The rocket and drone attacks across Ukraine early Friday killed at least 24 people, according to the Associated Press. Russia launched its attack days after Ukraine launched a strike in Crimea, which Russia occupies. The president called on Congress to provide more aid for Ukraine, noting Ukraine used air defense systems from the U.S. and other allies to fend off the attack. The American people can be proud of the lives we have helped to save and the support we have given Ukraine as it defends its people, its freedom, and its independence. But unless Congress takes urgent action in the new year, we will not be able to continue sending the weapons and vital air defense systems Ukraine needs to protect its people. Congress must step up and act without any further delay, Biden said. This post received a score of 9,000, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Better, pushed back to 1991 borders. If only the feeing GOP would stop bending over for Putin. One would think the GOP fully support the military-industrial complex and all the money and innovation that sector is gaining from this. They always did before. Something fishy going on. Better check all their offshore bank accounts. Mike Johnson doesn't have a bank account. I'd personally like to know how he pays his bills. chick fil gift cards. So that's why they don't want him to close on Sundays. If Biden and NATO want Ukraine to win, then arm Ukraine to win. Or just take care of it for them. Think of it as a field test and inventory rebalancing adjustment. And what's your intel on Russia's threat to use nuclear weapons if another country joins the fighting? Empty threat? If all it takes to invade any country they want is the threat of nukes, then the whole world is theirs. We risk the humiliation of being ruled by terrorists or we risk war. Russians are forcing us to decide between our dignity and our lives. I would choose war because that's how we beat Hitler and the Nazis. Ukraine can't win with one hand tied behind its back. Limited range weapons supply is not going to stop long range missile launches. Time to give Ukrainians the weapons they need to attack Moscow and St. Petersburg area bases. The army wives are angry in Russia, time to make the citizens aware that Putin is lying about how well the war is going. It's an election year in Russia, too, time to make Putin uncomfortable. The West needs to resolve this conflict as a priority. The Israeli outcome is not in question. Greater than the Israeli outcome is not in question. The potential of an escalation by other countries nearby is very much still in question. The only question is who wants the attention of the U.S. Navy and European countries that relies on the Suez Canal for global trade. I hope they do the calculations before they act. Ward Carroll YouTube latest has an interesting take on this. People forget that Obama and Biden had a completely different approach to the ME on a macro level. They wanted stability in the region and worked hard to bring Iran to the table. The Saudis didn't like that. So they went and funded Trump to tear up the nuclear agreement. Where exactly on the scale of thoughts and prayers to NATO enforced no fly zone exactly must Putin be stopped? Don't get me wrong. The Dems have done a lot to protect Ukraine and the free world from Russia while the Warhawk Party of Reagan cowers in fear and obedience to Putin and does everything they can to help Russia. But this rhetoric at this point in time is not doing a lot. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.